Hey there, and welcome to StageWise. In this video, I want to show you how to get started with StageWise on your local machine. So let's dive right in. As a prerequisite, you need to make sure that you have a JavaScript runtime on your machine. This can be Node.js, Bun, or Dino. We personally use Node.js, but you can use any runtime out there. The next thing you need to make sure is that you have a local copy of the project you want to work on. This can either be a Next.js project, a Nux project, a simple Vite project, a PHP-based front-end, or whatever you like. It can even just be a simple HTML page. The only thing you need to make sure is that it's installed locally somewhere on your file system. Once you make sure that you have both these things, we can get started. So let's dive right in. As you can see here, I have my Finder window open. On Windows, this would be a Windows Explorer. And I have my demo application, which in this case is a very small Next.js app. As you can see, I can open it up. And here's all the source code for my app. What I need to do now is I can simply open up a terminal. Let me just drag that into here. And I need to make sure that I go into the directory of this demo application, which in my case is under CD projects, demo app. Once you've changed the working directory of your terminal or command line, into the root folder of your project, which again, in this case is demo app, you should simply start the dev mode of your application. In this case, we do this with the command pnpm dev, though this may vary for the front end you use, but you probably know about the command you need to use for your specific front end. So now we have the application running on port 3000. And the next thing we need to do now is to start stagewise itself to host or rehost your application. And then we're already done. So what I will do is I will open up a new terminal window, which should, you should make sure of this, also is located with its working directory in the root folder of the project itself, which in this case, again, is demo app. And what you will then do is run the command npx stagewise at latest. In my case, since I use pnpm as my global package manager, I need to use pnpm dlx instead. And maybe this will vary for you as well. But what you should simply do is run stagewise and make sure that you always use the latest version. In your case, you will probably see a signup page that appears now in your browser. Don't worry about it. Just do a quick sign up and you're already done. So once you signed up, the next thing we need to make sure is that we give StageWise the correct information about the port that the application is running on. In our case, this is, again, port 3000. So we will simply enter 3000, which coincidentally also is the default value. Press Enter. Next up, StageWise asks us if we want to save a stagewise.json config, which we will agree with because that will store a small JSON config file in our repository so that we don't get asked these questions again and you can make some nice configurations in that file uh, persistently. So we will just say enter, which by default is yes. And the next thing that will happen is that stagewise will open up a new browser tab in which your application is hosted together with the stagewise toolbar. In my case, and by default, it's in the bottom right corner, though you may drag that into any direction where it fits you better. As you've previously seen, our application is hosted on port 3000. Stagewise opens up another port where it rehosts your application and then puts the toolbar on top. We do it this way to make sure that we don't have to make any kind of changes to your code base that are not necessary. And this is already it. Once you've installed Stagewise and started it, you can simply click on the chat icon and start prompting for changes and clicking on elements to give it as a reference to Stagewise to use when making such changes. We really hope that you enjoy Stagewise as much as we do and we're eager for your feedback. If you have any feedback, do not hesitate to either contact us via mail or ideally join our Discord community where we can have a chat together. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.